All right, we have our three quarter inch cover coming up through the mounting and entire crawl space. I'm gonna go ahead and swedge this piece so we can put our piece into it. Okay, there we have it. That's switched. Alright, I'm going to switch my 3 8 line. Because we'll be adding on to that also. It's a little tight in here. that. Alright, we're swedged. And we can put a line into that. We're going to go ahead and sew or solder our three quarter inch joint. I know you can't see it, but we're kind of in tight corners. Okay, we'll hold on a moment. Okay, I've got my channel locks in place to hold back the insulation. I use the men in the line set right here. An elbow, long radius, a yeah, straight piece. This is a lot more fittings than I like to use, but we're in a tight spot here, so I pull back my grommet, put the wet rag on the so we can protect it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and silver solder our main line because that's the line we need to use to run everything else on. And of course, we have everything ready to go.
Okay, I apologize. I'm a chronic over solar, but it makes me feel good. Hold that down a bit. Alright, we're done with this part. Next we'll do our suction line. Okay, next thing we're going to do is silver solder our elbow on. We're not going to do it while it's on here because we don't want to ruin this gasket. Or we don't have that in there right now, but we don't want to go anywhere near this. So I'm going to do it while it's off, and then we'll put it on. And we still have to change that orifice to get our unit to run right. You have to get the right orifice for your outdoor, match up to your outdoor unit. Okay, that is solar in there. We'll attach that to here temporarily. I have one more to do in the back, but I'm not going to take you with us. Um, it's just solder another 3 8 line in. So next thing we'll do is change our orifice and hook it all up and pull a vacuum. We have our finished a coil insulation. With the exception of changing our orifice hat, I brought the two bar thermostat cable rod. I'll um, still need to bring this around too. Also, we need to stretch our insulation around to here. And then uh, we'll be done with that. So, there it is our finished silver soldered ankle oil.